Welcome back to History and Mysteries Uncovered. Today we're going to be talking about the witches and a supernatural event surrounding Pendle Hill. This hill brings a large number of climbers each year. They even climb the hill on Halloween. Even the show Most Haunted has visited for a live show on Halloween in 2004 with Yvette Fielding, the presenter of the show, saying it was the scariest episode they have ever made. So this is number two of the most haunted location in England. This is a four part series on my channel. So subscribe so you never miss a video and watch my last video, The Tower of London and give it a like. Now let's get back into the video. So Pendle is located in Lancashire, England near the town of Nelson, Burnley, Cole, Cliffrow and Pendulum. And it gets its name from a combination of three different languages, from the word hill. This hill, other than its beautiful view, is well known for three events that happened in the 17th century. So event number one is the Pendle Witch Trials that happened in 1612. Event number two is Richard Townsley Barometer Experiment that happened in 1661. And the third is the vision of George Fox that happened in 1652. This event led to the foundation of the Religious Society of Friends movement. So, the event that I want to talk about is the Pendle Witches. These witch trials are quite famous in English history. These trials are really well documented, some of the best recorded within the 17th century. There was 12 in the area accused of killing 10 people using witchcraft. These people were charged of murders. One of the accused died in custody and the other 11 went to trial. 10 were tried at Lancaster and one other was trialled in York. This happened on the 18th to the 19th of August 1612. They were also tried with the Salisbury witches and some other people, they were all executed by hanging. So altogether fewer than 500 executions happened between the early 15th century to the early 18th century. These were witch trials. So moving back to the Pendle witch trials, so six of the witches came from two rival families. In these trials their key witness was a nine year old girl with three of the people executed was her mother, sister and brother. So, nine-year-old Janet Device lived with her mother Elizabeth. Her grandmother, her older sister Alison and brother James. In March 1612, Alison cursed the peddler who would not give her any pins. And the peddler collapsed and his son reported it to the ambitious local magistrate named Roger Nowell. Her convincing evidence was believed by the jury after a two-day trial all her family and most of her neighbours were found guilty of causing death and harm by witchcraft. So here's the name of all the accused. Anne Whittle, Anne Redfern, Elizabeth Device, Alice Nutter, Alison Device and James Device, Catherine Hewitt, Jane Balcock, John Balcock and Isabel Ruby. So all the prisoners were not allowed to have a defence counsel to plead for them and they could not call any witnesses to speak on their behalf. So this was a brutal trial with 12 people losing their life. I'm not saying that they were innocent but I don't feel like there was enough evidence to convict them. Again in the 17th century there were a lot of conspiracies for witchcraft because of King James I, firm belief in the assistance of witchcraft. An act was passed which imposed the death penalty for making a covenant with evil spirits, using a corpse for magic, hurting life or limbs, procuring love or enduring cattle by means of charm. Thank you for watching. This is a well documented series of events that happened in Lancaster in the 17th century. So everyone, this is number two of the most haunted places in England. Would you ever visit Pendle Hill? 
So give it a big old like this video and subscribe until next time.